Welcome to the second part of Oracle iSupplier Portal Cloud. Before we discuss the powered supplier portal overview setup, the actions which will be taken by the supplier, the action also which will be taken by the payables users. In this video, we will create supplier, supplier contact, supplier user account, reset the password for the supplier user account, login by this supplier user account, create an invoice through supplier portal, then let's payable user receive it and they validate, approve, create accounting, reject and talk all of the possible actions. Now we are going to create supplier and supplier contact user account. Navigate to procurement, go to suppliers, go to tasks, create supplier, supplier name I will put portal supplier business relationship spend authorized tax registration or, or organization corporation tax country united arab tax registration number if it's registered tax wire id and dns number i will create Now this is a supplier name and organization type, go to address, create a new address, portal address, country, United Arab Emirates, address one, Dubai, <coughs> address Borbos ordering remit two, Sites, create new sites on the site portal. It's a purpose for purchasing, pay, and I will select primary pay as well. Save and close. Okay, go to sites to create a site. These are our sites. Click on it. Go down site assignment to assign client business unit and the build to business unit or to create assignment. Here our build to business unit. You can also enter liability in distribution if you need to put a specific liability distribution for this supplier. Then save and close. This is very important uh, setup step because it will show in the business unit depends on this setup step then go to contact here we will create a contact we will name portal last name contact email portal at gmail.com and this is the username for this supplier contact so in case of this supplier need to login as a through supplier portal to either create invoice view invoice view payments cancel invoice all of these actions he can login by portal at gmail.com now select administrative contact for that supplier and here how to know or how to create this supplier contact as a, as a user account through this checkbox create user account once you create user account there are some of rules supplier sales representative self-service administrator inventory manager assigned to that user account 
in some cases you face an issue in this page when you click or check box for create user account and try to add any rule you find like this issue not able to add rule for a supplier user in external supplier registration in this case also it's showing as boz213074 as a issue number in this case what you have to do come back to the system here we already finished i will take this as a copy save and close now we create a supplier supply address site sign sites to business units go to contact and create contact first name last name email as a user name and checkbox create user account and found that there are three rules assigned automatically now we are going to learn how to resolve this issue save come back to setup and maintenance down go down setup and maintenance select procurement in case of you face this issue you have to do this step then once you select procurement you have to may search by manage supplier user rules manage supplier user rules click on it so you have to do search by manage supplier user rules you have to unselect all of these checkbox save then select them again and save once you did the same you will come back to the supplier contact and you will find the rules will be appear with you again once you face this issue during create supplier contact or create a user account for the suppliers this is the number of the issue this is a message not to able to add rule as supplier in external go to set up procurement manage supplier user rules unselect this 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 save again select this 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 this, this and this okay now let's now we created supplier contact and email we are going to reset the password for supplier contact username go down tools security console put the email as a user account click on users enter the email portal at gmail.com search it is appearing here as our portal contact click on action reset password manually change i will put welcome welcome one two three reset password it's already updated now i will log in by this user account and try to enter invoice row supplier port come here login by portal enter the password welcome one two three this is our user account sign in again welcome one two three sign in save or never here the supplier portal dashboards he can create invoice as we said before create invoice without purchase order 
view invoices, view payment, view active negotiations, manage responses, questionnaires, qualifications, manage also profiles, shipment, create ASN, all of these tasks. So now we are going to create invoice without PO. Once you click on create invoice, our supplier as a portal supplier will retrieved automatically because we, we already assigned this user account to this supplier. Select the supplier side, enter the invoice number, portal one. What is the date of this invoice? Today. The type, there are two types. You can enter invoice and credit memo. I will select invoice. If you need to enter remit to bank, remittance identifier, description. Here, the request or email. As we said, the email of the contact of the buying company. The requester is notified and they must approve the invoice before it can be processed further. So I will come back to here to select confirm. I will take this as a requester, come back here, enter it here. Once you bought it, the requester name must be retrieved automatically. If this requester name is not retrieved, so this requester email will be wrong and you have to change it to confirm or to make sure that the requester name is retrieved automatically. Then this is the header of our invoice. Go to lines. What is the type? You have three options. Freight, item, miscellaneous. I will select item. Ship to location, which location? Ship from tax classification. If I put zero, what is the amount? 5,000. Description, portal, invoice. What is the option you have? Here you can cancel line, can delete line, duplicate line, add more lines. If you go up, what is the invoice action? You, cal you can calculate tax. The supplier contact can calculate tax. He can cancel invoice. He can delete invoice. I will click on calculate tax because it is zero. So, so there is no tax. If I select a 5% tax, try to create calculate tax. Is it working? It's already calculated. So the total amount will be this 5250 invoice amount item plus VAT or tax. So you can save. Then you can submit. Submit means send this invoice to the payable users of the buying company click on done you can go to view invoices search by your invoices the status of it is as you see here pending import what is the type of this invoice standard invoice request supplier side supplier everything is shown here now i will log in by a contact of the buying company come back here this is the contact or email id of the buying company payables users if we get to payables payables invoices i will search by that invoice Click on search invoice number for tal one. Click on search. You will find our invoice portal invoice or portal supplier. The same type as standard invoice request is not validated. You can validate pay in full, approve, so approve, initiate, withdraw, hold, and the post draft or post to ledger. I will click on it. Currently, I can force approval. Once I force it as a force approval, the 
now click on action and the edit to enter the distribution of the invoice go down what is the distribution set or distribution combination you can enter your segments values okay again save you can calculate tax check fund validate as a normal invoice now I am going to validate invoice now our invoice is validated and approved you can create accounting post or draft then you can create in draft it's already accounting is complete if you need to view accounting okay again you can post to ledger after that you can make the payment this is how to make invoice through supplier porter in oracle cloud please subscribe our channel also appreciate your comments and thank you for watching